A great act of worship in Al Islam. It's the secret to personal strength. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves it so much, and this is why He always supports the people who have it and the people who possess that and display it. It's a great act of worship, but it has to do with the heart. It will help us get one step closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. At-tawakkul, reliance on Allah. At-tawakkul is a beautiful combination that is based in principle on the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we develop knowledge about our Creator, about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, about His greatness, about His great attributes, great, his, his great names, when we get, get to know how powerful Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, how knowledgeable Allah is, how merciful He is, how great He is, that His knowledge encompasses everything, that He knows everything before it even happens, that nothing happens in this world except by His permission and by His will. Once we develop that knowledge, it makes our heart move towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So our hearts feel trust in Allah. They trust Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They realize that the main cause behind everything is the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So nothing happens in this world without the permission of Allah. Once our hearts embrace this belief and this conviction, definitely we will start to rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we start to see through the physical means that we have in this world. We realize that they don't function by themselves, but by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who gave them the ability to function and to cause things. This is the great aspect of tawakkul. It's a beautiful amalgam. It's a beautiful mixture of strong belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, proper knowledge about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and it's an act of worship that is, or that is based in the heart. And this is why it's one of the most profound aspects in Muslim character. And it has a profound, a profound impact on our behavior and on everything we do. But what does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say about at tawakkul Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Allah loves those who rely on Him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders us in the Quran to hold on to tawakkul and rely on the ever-living that does never die. That means Him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to rely on Him in every single thing that we do. And Allah also subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, and it's enough for Allah to rely on Him. So tawakkul is an obligation. But how can we attain tawakkul? We can definitely attain tawakkul by having or acquiring knowledge about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's the essence of tawakkul. Once we know the names and attributes of Allah and our hearts realize how great Allah is, how powerful Allah is, how knowledgeable Allah is, our hearts are designed, they're created in a way to respond actively to this type of knowledge. This is why once our hearts receive that type of knowledge and embrace it, they start to move and to become inclined towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to put the trust in Allah, to realize that Allah is the main cause behind everything. The actions of Allah, the will of Allah is behind everything that takes place in this world and everything that happens. Tawakkul also has to do with belief in the decree of Allah. To believe that everything before it happens, Allah knew it. Allah had written it down on the preserved tablet and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala willed that this thing takes place. This is the belief in the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And once we realize this, our hearts will be at rest. We'll have the safety, the tranquility that everything is in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This, this will give us the reassurance every human being is searching for throughout their lives. So we trace everything back to its original cause, to its creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is why tawakkul has profound fruits in our lives. What are these fruits of tawakkul? One of the fruits of this tawakkul, that Allah will love you. You will get the love of Allah if you rely on Allah. The second is the realiza realization of Iman. The Iman is correlated with tawakkul. There's a big correlation between Iman and tawakkul. The more you have tawakkul, your Iman will raise. The least you'll have tawakkul, your Iman will go down. The second thing is that the support of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, and whoever relies on Allah, verily Allah is, will help him. Allah will uh, gather his affairs. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be sufficient for him. At tawakkul could give us the love of Allah, the uh, high status of Iman, and also the support and aid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.
what else? Definitely there's a lot more with tawakkul, but what is better than having and receiving the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants his support, his aid, and his victory. He gives it to the people who have tawakkul. Why? As a gift. Because tawakkul shows that these people really have strong belief in Allah. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala runs the affairs of the world. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the Lord of the world. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the omnipotent, the one who has power and control over everything in this world. So tawakkul is a clear reflection of your strong faith, strong conviction in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nothing will come to us except what Allah wills. And what Allah wills for His believing servants is definitely something good. So what is there in the world to feel of? Also, tawakkul, having to, tawakkul gives you a shield or is a shield against the plotting or the plots of shaitan. This is exactly how our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi and his companions were. They were profound believers who put their trust in Allah even in, this, in the most difficult times, in the darkest moments of their lives. They put their trust in Allah and this is why they made it even when they were outnumbered of defeating their enemies but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helped them. We want to have tawakkul. You do everything you are supposed to do, physically speaking. Put your trust in Allah and don't attach your heart to what you did, but attach your heart to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you manage to do that, no force on earth can destroy your plans. This is the power of tawakkul. And this was the great example of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet sallam is making it clear. If you really reach the high level of putting your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will break for you some of the laws that govern this universe. That's a high level of trust. In Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But yet, we shouldn't rely upon that. What we should be striving to do is to put our trust in Allah and do our part of the job, which is whatever we can do, we do it, physically speaking. Even the story of Sayyidina Musa, I mean, there was no means or nothing when he was in the middle of the sea. Yes. And the people told him, I mean, we, that's it, we are, we're going we're gonna to drown. They said, no, Allah is with me and he's going to guide me. No means, nothing. He just had... No one but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but yet his heart was so calm and with certainty that Allah will save him. Subhanallah. And yet Allah saved him from drowning. Subhanallah. Imagine how the words of Musa alayhi salam, kalla, no, mm -hmm. certainty. His people were taken by fear, apprehension, mm -hmm. but he was saying no. He was reassured, he was confident, he was mm -hmm. calm. I hope that we will be able to really follow that example in our lives. Obviously the story of Hajar. Uh, when she put her trust in Allah, and she mm -hmm. just said to Ibrahim, if Allah commanded you to leave us here, then He's not going to let us down. He will mm -hmm. not let us die. He will take care of us, simply. Yes. That's a very beautiful example mm -hmm. of trust in Allah. The example of Prophet Hud, alayhi salam. Put my trust in Allah. You do whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. He's my Lord and He's even your Lord. Yes. So I don't fear you. There's no creature on this earth or in this universe except that He runs its affairs. Yes. So why should I fear you? Mm -hmm. Allah has control over you. Mm -hmm. So if I put my trust in Allah, if I'm in, good, in a good relationship with Allah, mm -hmm. so I have nothing to fear. Allah mm -hmm. will save me from you. One of the scholars said, great scholars of Islam said, that if you want to test yourself, if you have really tawakkul, especially in terms of provision and money and wealth, he said that you trust what is in the hands of Allah more than you trust what's in your own hands. Yes. That's real tawakkul. Mm -hmm. Many people don't, really trust the money unless it's in their hands. Mm -hmm. But if you really have tawakkul that you trust what's with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more than you trust what's in your, physically in your possession. That you really know that you give for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because you know Allah will provide for you. So this is why tawakkul also plays in charity a major role. Some people might think, where do we need tawakkul? We need tawakkul, most important aspect we need tawakkul in is in worshipping Allah. Put your trust in Allah that Allah will guide you if you are sincere. Allah will show you the truth. This is why we say إِيَّاكَ نَعْبُدْ وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ We seek your help in worship. We only worship you and it's only your help that we seek so we put our trust. Another aspect we need tawakkul in is matters of the, of the world. A provision, uh, taking care of our children, taking care of our affairs. We need to, to put our trust in yes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whoever puts his trust in Allah, then Allah is sufficient for him. Allah will take care of all his affairs and Allah will definitely, Allah is the best disposal of, disposal of affairs. Yes. So part of tawakkul, as one of the earliest scholars of Islam said, is to, to trust Allah, to run your affairs more than you trust yourself. Yes. That's an absolute, a high level of tawakkul. That you wish that Allah runs your affairs rather than you doing that. And it's a high level that only people with strong faith can yes. reach that. And there are beautiful aspects of tawakkul actually. Yes. Dear viewers, at tawakkul, reliance on Allah, 
is an act of worship that could take us closer to Him. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.